I'm Rachel Goldsworthy and welcome to the drive home to Hawkesbury where I believe every home has a story and I love sharing those stories on real estate in the Hawkesbury with you. Here we share the best ways to add value to your property, how to avoid the common mistakes people make when buying and selling property and how to get the maximum return on your investment with a focus on supporting local business. I live love Hawkesbury and can't wait to get into today's episode with you so let's get started. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on when you're watching the show. I'm Rachel Goldsworthy, joined by Sherilyn from the Ebenezer Art Show. How are you today? I'm really well, thank you. That's good. Now tell me a little bit about the art show. It's been going for quite a number of decades, and this year's a very special year, I believe. It certainly is. It's our 40th anniversary this year. Wow. Um, which is a really big... Um, achievement for such a small school. Absolutely, yeah. isn't it great? Yeah, we only have 125 students in the entire school uh, and some of the the parents are actually generations, second generations from the show itself. Sure. So one of the original instigators of the art show is a grandparent at the school right now. So that's fantastic. <laughs> How good's that? That's yeah. kind of exciting having yeah. the whole family here and doing all those sorts of things together and you know catching up and I feel that like every time I've been out to the show it's always been a community feel and everybody enjoys themselves and has a great time so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it certainly is. We um we try really hard to instill the strength in the community. Um, it's a very long-standing community with the show. The, the school itself dates back right back to the original church, which is the oldest church in Australia. Yeah. So uh, the school community itself is one of the oldest school communities in Australia. So it's fantastic to no. be part of that, to be part of the history and to celebrate the 40th year. Wow. And which day are we heading towards for that? Is that the 12th of August? Yes, so the yeah. opening night is on the 11th, on 11th, Friday yeah. the 11th okay. of August, and the fair is on the 12th. So that's okay. our family day where yes. all of the parents, families, grandparents and all the kids, of course, can come and have a bit of fun, look at, enjoy some of the art, see yes. the art that the students have made themselves as well as artists within our area. Some of them are so clever, like every time I see the, the show, I just sort of look at the art that they've done and think, wow, how old are these kids? You know, and they're yeah. doing these drawings and paintings. and It's amazing. It is, isn't it? And even the photography, some of the photography last year, it was just beautiful. Yeah, we do have quite a few different mediums of art. We are, we have been approaching quite a few of the local artists within the Hawkesbury. A lot of Hawkesbury artists have been involved for decades. So we have a lot of artists come back year after year because they enjoy the art show, they enjoy the displays, they enjoy the people coming to see their art. So yeah. we do have a lot of different mediums. We have the traditional canvas oils, yes. um, watercolours, we have ceramics, we have a sandstone sculpture coming this year as well. So we're doing our best to get as much of the different mediums yeah, um, there represented as possible. There. Yeah, yeah, that's terrific. And tell me, I mean, it must be such a big event. What's it like in the day of Sherilyn trying to organise? <laughs> Obviously, it's a team effort, you know, everybody gets involved. Is, but yeah. what's it like organising something as big as this in yeah, the Hawkesbury? I'm so lucky that I have a fantastic group of mums because it is such a small school. There's only 120. 20 odd students, there's 90 families in the entire school, wow. but we have a solid dozen parents who put in hours and hours of work. So I, I put in what I can, as much as I can, where I can, but I do have a lot of parents that help me out. So yeah, they're and fantastic. That's that's the whole part of it isn't it you know parents mums and dads and everybody's got a part to play and it's so important with the community that you have that you know support structure it's the same as like having a family you can Absolutely. sort of phone a friend or you ring a relative or, or somebody like that you know yeah. that they're going to be there and got your back on the day so that's terrific Absolutely, I can honestly say that every parent contributes in one way or another whether it's planning the day itself helping out with stalls baking cakes for us coming along and enjoying the day, telling people about the day. Yes. Um, it's very much something that all of the children get excited about. They They're do, don't particularly they? Particularly excited about the sumo suits <laughs> I think, this year. They all want to have a turn of the sumo suit. Okay, so everyone's going to get to suited see. up and have... Yeah. Uh, was one of the teachers going to be the um, targets again, the, as the they were last year? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, well, we've, we've got um, Mr. O'Brien, our principal, yes. has very kindly and humorously donated himself <laughs> for a cream pie in the face. So that will be auctioned off on oh, the day. Oh, Mr. O'Brien, you're yeah. in for fun, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's very good fun, so he's yeah. Um, 
No, yeah. terrific. And we've got some good auction items I'll be auctioning on the day, um, on the Saturday. That starts at 12 o'clock, is it? It or does. Midday. midday. Midday is the auction. So we have a range of different entertainment. Yes. It all starts at around 11.30 with the school choir. Yes. We have our first ever school dance group. Oh, wow. Um, they've only just started this year. How exciting. So they actually just passed their their auditions to get into the Estedford. Terrific. This year, so they're yeah. very excited. It'll be their second ever performance yes. that they'll be doing at the art show. Then we'll have the auction. We have um, a Tang Sudo from Wayne Miller's Tang Sudo doing a demonstration. Smart Steppers will be doing some dance routines. Yes. And we've even got the local BMX club, the Hawkesbury Hornets, coming and doing some um, demonstrations for us oh, this time. It's going to be fun. I love watching all those demonstrations with the kids because they get right into it. They're they really do. passionate and you know like little three-year-olds, four-year-olds, five-year-olds from the whole group right through to the range of kids that are in, in the school itself yeah. depending on which group is doing the demonstration Absolutely. on the day. Absolutely. Yeah. I think last year in the Smart Steppers group we had a two-year-old dancing and she nailed it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah we, we do. We have every age group through from you know, primary, uh, preschool age right through to adults. In some yeah. of the martial arts, we have some people that are uni students doing their demonstrations as well. So I remember the martial arts last year, like they were jumping way, I'm nearly six foot and they were jumping way they beyond certainly that. certainly do. They're, yeah, they're, really they're, putting it out there. Yeah, it, it's great. It's really good to see um, the kids getting out and showing their different skills that they yeah. have because that's part of the art show. It is, is showing isn't all it? of the different things that us as a community can do and what the children can do and just enjoying that. For so. sure. No, that's terrific. And tell me, whereabouts do people need to go on the day? How do they get in contact with you if yeah. they've got questions or want to help out with the fair? Absolutely. So we have we have two online mediums that are fantastic options. We have our website, which is www.ebenezerartshow.com.au. We'll put a link on the this podcast for that. And yes. we, also, we also have a Facebook page terrific. where you can contact. I'm online all the time. So any questions, any queries, give me a buzz and find out anything. The show itself is at the school grounds. Yes. So um, at Ebenezer Arch, at Ebenezer Public School. Yes. Um, we'll be we'll be there on the Saturday from it starts from 10 a.m. So yeah, no, that's the, terrific. Yeah, and the opening night um, is. Tickets are available on the door. It's only twenty-five dollars a head, and that includes wine and food. So oh, that's it's a really fantastic. good thing, isn't We've got it? Yeah. Some wonderful wonderful vineyards and uh, craft breweries and cider houses that are supporting us so mm. you actually get to come and enjoy the mm. produce of our area yes so that's what we're really pushing for the opening night this year is to push local art local talent local produce and everything that's so wonderful about mm. our area because the hawkesbury is so underappreciated and i think people don't realize just how good our stuff is. I know. So. We want to give it a secret a little bit longer because we all love it so much, but certainly put it out there yeah. so that we can improve, yeah. uh, you know, the, the support from, um, you know, the locals. So, because I think that everybody loves getting out to the show. Everybody has a great time. It's a family day. You can make a full day of it, really, and yeah. lose yourself in the activities that are there. There's the markets there. And as it's, you say, that first crossing. night, the, the art is just wonderful. So what time does that kick off on the Friday? On the Friday night. So the doors open at 7 a.m. Okay, 7 a.m.? 7 p.m., sorry. Okay, no, that's all right. Doors open at 7 p.m. And um, tickets are available at the door. So there's no need to pre-book or pre-buy tickets. You just turn up. Turn up. Night. Terrific. Well, we welcome everybody to come to the art show on that first Absolutely. night and um, get there. And any anybody that wants to get in touch with Sherilyn on the Facebook or on the website, she's more than happy to help you in that regard. Absolutely. Yeah. We have a lot of old teachers, past teachers, past staff, um, attending on that night we're really pushing to make that a big reunion of the night so if anybody um, is past students and would like to go and perhaps see one of their old teachers um, it's most likely that they're going to be there. How good is that? After 40 years, you know, can yeah. you imagine going back and seeing the teachers and, yeah. you know, that are there and um, because you forge really good relationships, I think, and they they are the ones, whether it's preschool, primary school, high school, they're the ones, uni university, college, wherever you go, um, TAFE, they're the ones that forge they do. Our growth and our thought patterns and as well as our family and, you I know, our friends. They're but, the ones uh, that teach us the love of learning, really. Yes. So they're, they're the ones that, in, in primary school, it's where you learn to love to learn, to love to read, to love to write. 
And I think that joy of finding something new and learning, it really comes from the joy of teachers teaching that. And that's something that I've definitely seen at our school with mm. my children. Mm. Um, there, There's not just a love of learning with the students, but a love of teaching from the teachers. And I think that's something that you really do get hold of in a small school and something that we're extremely proud of. Oh, I completely agree. My little nephew, Robert, big shout out to Robert, or little Robert. Um, he always talks so highly of the school and the teachers and the people, and he Absolutely. just loves going there and being part of it all and has a great day and great week all the time. So I think yeah. um, teachers, as you say, are a big part of that. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, just coming back to the auction for you there's yes. some you've been doing some wonderful things lately um you've joined a boot camp like yes, myself I've been yes. to the gym as well so um we're all you know coming out of hibernation from winter yes we have to get moving and remember what that's like <laughs> <laughs> that's right but um one of the sponsors um tell me a little bit about the boot camp or that they offer because on the auction there's a I believe a um some sort of pass here yeah we've had two different fitness send places as such Great. donate for our auction, the first of which is After Effect Fitness, which yes. is um, a boot camp run by Brenda King, which a lot of people know her name through the Sid Stampede. She's um, very well known in the Hawkesbury in the area as doing that. So Big she, shout out to Brenda. Um, she has offered to donate a one month unlimited boot camp for four people which terrific is fantastic that's so, awesome value we all yeah. want to get fit for summer don't we yeah <laughs> trust me Brenda will get you fit yeah, <laughs> yeah. and what else have we got smart yeah. steppers have come to smart the steppers. they're always there they're yeah. always supporting aren't they absolutely smart steppers are always there they're always supporting us they're always every year they donate a one-term pass for us which is wonderful gail and her team are so so supportive of our school big and shout out to smart easy, steppers so, thank you very much for your donation and, and Absolutely. Yeah. So everyone should come and have a look at the her troops and see how well they dance on the day. And yeah, sure. Hopefully bid on her term pass and be part of it. For Absolutely, because everybody's going to you know a lot of people do the term pass anyway. So to be able Correct. to donate that money back to the school is awesome. Absolutely. And the show. Yeah. What else have we got We've here? We also had punch love. Punch give love. Us a getting started. So a one month unlimited session and it includes everything that the ladies need to get started with their team with so the the wraps the gloves and everything that oh wow require. really so, yeah great thank you very much punch yeah, love that's exciting yeah. i've heard some really good feedback from that and i suppose it's a different form of fitness for people um and one that generally has always been dominated by by males but Correct. i think the women are getting into it and they really are. loving it and um from the feedback that i've received from a lot of buyers and sellers in the area that i've worked with over the years they think it's great, you know. Oh, look, Punch Love is very popular in our yeah. area. I know there's a lot of a lot of people I know go there and really enjoy it. It's because it's not just um, fitness; it's almost therapy for them. They yeah, really sure. enjoy getting that sure. out, and it is ladies only, so they they don't have that concern about having somebody else watching them. Yeah, and we feel comfortable in our own space. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. No, yeah. I know what that's so like. That's quite... um, what else have we got? Um... We have to Brook have offered yes. a family pass for the day, which is fantastic of them. It includes whip cracking demonstrations, Devonshire teas, dampers. That's a fun day out. Yeah, I love the to Brook. You know, it's, it's great. It's they've a... been terrific supporters too, haven't yeah, they? they? Yeah, have. they've been there every year. So. Yeah. Who else have we got? Um, we have cool on... kids. Cool kids. Yes, cool kids have donated a keyboard for us which is fantastic so um, that's a lot of fun isn't it because it really kids is. I mean you can play that anywhere and you can plug it in sort of any room in the Absolutely. house and, and it's mobile so I think I like that sort of thing and probably take it to your if they wanted to get lessons at cool kids they could actually go Absolutely. to the class and take their little keyboard with them so absolutely so I yeah. think it is one of the keyboards that is um, learning that works with their terms and yeah their, Oh, that's yeah. terrific. And then we've got some wine tasting for those people that like alcohol. We do. We have a fantastic... We have we have three wonderful vineyards who are supporting us for the Friday night with donation of wine. So we have Tizana who has sponsored us every single year since the inception. Big shout out to Tizana. Yes, thank you Tizana. The, the owner of Tizana, Carolyn and Peter, they actually instigated the very first art show. So they've literally been there from the first wow. day. They started wow. the entire art show. So we have a lot to thank for them for all of their... Absolutely. Um, an art show is only... Uh, any kind of event like this is only as good as the foundations that they built on and they built mm. them on strong foundations. So for sure. They're still supporting us. We have Bullridge Estate yes. supporting us this year, which is another local vineyard. 
and we have Tullaca Wines in the Hunter Valley supporting us as well this year. Terrific. So they will be providing some sparkling wine for the night, but they've also provided a wine tasting for 10 people. Um, that sounds like a plan, people. 10 yes. people, take yourselves away for some time and yep. um, enjoy together. Yeah, so. they sit you down for an hour or so. You have your own private room with your own private tastings. You go through the full range fancy, of wines. isn't it? And <laughs> they give you a couple of cheese platters as well to go with it. So, wow. So, yeah, it, it really is. We've, we, I've been there and I've done that before and it's a fantastic Terrific. Experience. And, you know, different things. And as you say, you know, supporting local produce, supporting local wineries, the people that support us. Correct. So, and who else have we got there? Quite, quite strongly, a lot of our supporters are small family businesses. Or, yeah, um, absolutely. So it's all it's all about supporting local, locally owned, um, Australian produce, Australian families, keeping it all local and local. fresh. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. We've got a Devonshire tea, I believe. We do. From... Nepean Bell is also yes. for people for a Devonshire tea for an afternoon to wow. go out on the Nepean River. So that sounds like a nice. bit of fun. Who wants to go out on the river? Let's all absolutely. sort of put a bit in on that one too. Yeah, absolutely. And we're in line with the property styling that uh, we do. There's a, a company that's come to the party as well with that. Great yeah. uh, donation there. We have a fantastic new business has come on board. They're fairly new to our area. Um, their name is Vault Interiors. They do a lot of property styling, as you said, and they do a lot of um, turnkey um, furniture styling setups for people who are looking to either boost their investment properties or sell their hot properties and just don't know where to start. So, And that's so important with a property when you're going to sell or lease or do anything like that. You, It's so important to speak to the right people like Vault because they can help you navigate through that process equally with the help of an agent that can Absolutely. then tell you sort of as to which way to go in that regard. So, 100%. Yeah. And who else have we got? We've got um, we Mr. Have track Engineering. Um, yes, which that's is right. A local family owned engineering business. They also, um, so the owners of that family business also run Team Evil Ski Racing. So they have offered a hot lap from Windsor to Sackville return. In that's kind of, of exciting. Their, in one of their premier events. <laughs> so Everybody will be fighting over that one. Absolutely. From what I hear, they're actually looking to run True Blue, which is their flagship wow. boat for it so it's it's a one in a lifetime yes. style this boat doesn't just come out for fun runs it's only out for races special occasions it's, it's been yeah. in world championships this boat so yeah it's it's very distinctive it's actually at the boat show right now yeah so. i was talking to chris adlington and darren kelly from tr marine um, during the week and they were saying the same thing that that boat is sort of the top notch and the the one to follow so yeah um, they're loving that as well but it's it's so good to get the support from on track and they've been a great supporter for they what have. you're they've doing as well so and then poor mr o'brien cream mr. cream pie in the face yeah <laughs> that's going to yes. be a bit of fun I, i'm not too sure whether the kids are going to bid more of the, te the, the teachers. Other teachers are going to bid, I don't know. I would be interested. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to make sure the teachers are aware so that they're there in time. I'm sure there's a couple that would like to put a green pie in Mr. O'Brien's face. So yeah. it, it will be interesting to see whether a child, a parent or a teacher wins that auction. It'll yeah. be all in the name of good fun. Though. That's right. It's such a good sport. Every year there's some teacher, there was somebody, which was the teacher last year that we got plastered to the wall? Last year Mr. Lacuda got plastered to the wall so he, he was a very he was good, a good sport. sport. Well, too. Absolutely. Yeah, we, we had a lot of children that got to put tape and tape him up to the wall. There seemed to be a lot of them that wanted to tape his mouth rather than his body. But, <laughs> but yes, it was it was fantastic. Yeah. So we had a lot of fun and our teachers are fantastic like that. They, they don't take life too seriously. They like to have a little bit of fun and if they can do something to make the art show a little bit more enjoyable. They totally exactly. Will. Yeah. So no, that's terrific. Lucky. Yeah. Well, um, it's been great to catch up with you, Sharon. Thank you no, so no. much for your time. Uh, anybody that wants to go to the fair or the art show starts on the 11th of August, 11th 7 p.m. on that Friday night. Just turn up to the school. It's going to be a great day. And then followed by the fair the next day with the auction. With the auction, you can bid online as well. You certainly can. So if, there, if for any reason you can't make it to the show, the show itself but you would really like one of the prizes if something that we've discussed really gets your fancy hop onto our website place a bid 
and your bid will be included on the day. No, terrific. Well, that's great advice and uh, we're all going to have a fun day out and fun Absolutely. weekend out, I think, then. And thanks so much for organising everything and to everybody else that maybe we haven't mentioned everybody, but certainly we really appreciate everything that everybody's we, doing. We really specifically need to thank you as well, Rachel, oh. because without you there running the auction for us, we wouldn't be able to have such a fantastic one. So. Rachel, you supported us last year. You ran the auction and I think you've by far done the best job. <laughs> Not that I want to tell Mr O'Brien that because it's a lot of fun doing it as well. But we, really, we really are appreciative to have somebody with the experience that you have to come and run the auction oh, for us. Oh, thank you. No, you're more than welcome. And I, and I love giving back to the community too because the community's really looked after me over the years and that's what it's all about. It's yeah. not just a matter of you know selling homes or leasing homes or doing those sorts of things. It's about immersing yourself, living in the area, being part of the community and that's what it's all about. So, yeah, yeah thank you very much. Thank I appreciate you. that. Thank and good you. luck with the, the day and the weekend and I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody out there and we'll see your bids online and we'll catch up with you on the next episode. Episode. Thank you so much for taking time out listening to today's episode. If you have any questions on the process of buying, selling, leasing or strata management, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Be sure to subscribe on iTunes and I'd really appreciate it if you could spread the word by liking and sharing this episode with your family and friends. I'm Rachel Goldsworthy and I look forward to catching up with you on the next episode of the Drive Home to Hawkesbury.